Hey guys, thanks for coming. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the new topic in the control net. It's a new model called uh, DW Post. And basically, it's very amazing because it allows us to control the entire body completely. And it could be done in a video as well as in a picture. So for now, we're going to focus on the picture and this is how it looks. So yes, this is the official page from GripHub. You will be able to see it here and download it from here. You will also see the link in the description down below all right so that's what we're going to do and we're going to go now to our stable diffusion so there's two things that we're going to need so we're going to click extensions and then we're going to click install from url here you will want to download this one just copy it and then post it here and then after pasting it here just click install all right so now it's already on my uh, directory list so i won't be able to do that but you should be able to do that in your end after that just go to install tab and click apply and quit the same thing here you will also have to download this one for the control net basically just the same process paste it here click install and then after clicking install go to install tab and then click apply and quit although i did that earlier i actually experienced a bit of a problem here so if i'm going to click here and then go down here in the in the model section i wasn't able to find this one earlier so i had to download it manually actually from here so this is uh, from hugging face and all you have to do is just scroll down here until you see open pose so you can actually just click this one and basically that's it you just have to install it in the file folder now once everything is done and you are ready the next thing that you're going to do is you have to prepare an image so this is the image that i have here this is from free pick and this is actually pretty amazing now what i'm going to do is just go here in my stable diffusion and then i'm going to click this one in the control net and i'm going to search for a picture uh, say for example this one i'm going to put it here and then after that one i'm just going to enable control net and click pixel perfect and also allow preview for us to see now next thing that i'm going to do is click open post once you see open post you're going to be able to see here open post full or you can also change it to dw open post full and that is what we are going to use for today so i'm going to just basically uh click this one control net is more important and then click this one in order to load pre-processor all right there you go and then i'm going to open it in a new tab Okay, and then this is the result now from DW Open Post. And then what we're going to do is we're going to generate image basically from this. However, before that, let's also try using Open Post. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to click Run Preprocessor. Okay, the same thing. We're going to open this one. And then this is uh, basically from just uh, Open Post. Okay, there you go. And then this time, uh, we're going to try to run an image and see what will happen. Uh, say, for example, we're just going to basically run a very simple one. And you can uh, customize it according to your liking and then use it depending on the difficulty that you want. All right, so here for the height, I have increased it to 768. Um, for the CFG7, for this one, sampling steps, let's try to use 35. Sampling method, DPM++ to MCARES. Okay, there you go. And then let's try to generate an image. Okay, seems like we got a rather different output. <laughs> All right, we don't need that one. We don't need this thing. So let's try to remove, uh, let's try to uh, lessen this one to five. Okay, hopefully we'll see something that's similar to that one. Okay, there you go. So we have this image. All right, so now you can see the difference already with regards to hand. Uh, the hand is a little bit different from what we want. Um, the what what we want is, is something that is okay. Something that looks like this. Say for example, this one. So as you can see, the hand here that is what we want. However, we are getting a little bit of a difference. However, it's actually not very bad, right? So and then we're going to basically just do the same thing now again that is for the open post let's try to change this to dw open post and before that let's copy the seed number and then run preprocessor again okay there you go and then we're going to input here the seed number okay and then we're going to generate okay so this is what we got and let's try to open this one again 
and then let's try to rearrange it in order for us to be able to compare it side by side okay there you go so this is again from the open post and then the other one uh here this is from dw open post or dw post okay there you go so this is the difference between the two and let's try also to in to put our model here in the middle uh let's see if we can uh see the difference between them Okay, there you go so yes this is the model this is the image that we want to be recreated this is the one that we got for our open post and this is the one also that we got from dw open post and yeah there's actually just a very slight difference with regards to the fingers however i'm very satisfied with the result i think this is amazing okay now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to try at least uh like full body or at least almost half of it so this is the one that we're going to try so we're going to go down here again and then basically we're just going to repeat the same process we're going to put our image or our model in here all right there you go and then we're going to click enable there you go control net is more important and then from here we're just going to run preprocessor. Okay, and then I'm going to try to have the width a little bit more. And then let's try to have around 6. Still the same thing, DPM++, 2M Keras. And then 35 for the sampling steps. All right, so still the same one woman for the prompt. And then we're going to click and generate. Okay, there you go. So we're able to generate this one. So this is an amazing picture based from this particular image. So again, this is from DW. And then let's try to uh, copy again once one more time or just click this one. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to uh, try to do it with open post. Okay, I'm going to click this one, run preprocessor. Okay, there you go. And then as you can see, there is a little bit of difference down here. You see that it is now gone. Uh, so you don't see the hands here anymore. So that is one thing that is missing here. So let's try to generate this time the image. And again, we're using the same seed. So hopefully we're going to get an image that is near as this one with a little bit of locking down below. All right, now we have generated this image and I believe this image is also very good. However, it lacks the... It lacks a little bit from the reference image that we have. So again, let's open this one. Okay, this one and our reference image is... All right, so here you definitely see the differences between the two models. And uh, for this one, we are using here the open post, the usual open post. Well, this one, we are using the DW open post. And you can see that now you have, now the hand is missing, unlike here wherein it's present. And it is the same thing as from our base model or from our base image. And yes, that's how it is. Uh, congratulations. If you are very much keen into producing the same output of image from your base model and using control net, then definitely DW Post is going to work better for you. However, if you want to leave room for AI to basically generate according to its training, then you can also use Open Post Fool. And yes, congratulations. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Have a good day, everyone, and see you on the next video. Again, please subscribe to the channel and leave this video a like if this helps you. You may also leave some comments down below in order for us to communicate better.